Hello friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to quickly delete entities from your Firebase database and Firebase storage. So this is my Firebase console and in my project I've uploaded some data. It's in a pending directory. So let's try to delete one of these entities. I've got two, I've got this one and then I've got the second one there. So we are going to delete these posts by the key, the key is this one right there. So let's open our sketchware project. So in this sample project, a user can upload a library to Firebase, attaching an image and the library itself and some details. So we want to delete the image, the library and the details. So to do this, after they have gone to our database and our storage, I have added a recycler. This recycler will show my pending posts. So let's see the compiled project to understand what I'm talking about. So this is the compiled project and this is what we have. So these are the two elements I showed you in the storage, the first one and the second one. So they are both duplicate, but they have different keys. They're the same, this one and this one. But the keys are different, as we can see. So I just want to delete one of them. We're going to delete uh, this one. So you've seen our database has got two elements. So once we delete this, we're going to remain with one. So let's look at the delete logic. So in my recycler, I've added my delete logic, and this is the delete logic. So my delete logic is inside a dialog, and if I say yes to deleting, we are going to check if my list map contains library. So this is the key I set for my library. So let's go to Firebase and check if that key exists. Okay, so these are the keys in each post. So library does exist. So it means I will be able to delete the file using the URL I'd saved in the library key. Let's also check for logo. So the logo is the image I upload to Firebase. If the logo key exists at a particular position, so logo, it will also delete the logo. Then I'll finally delete the post at the position. Then I'll also delete the key in database pending. So the key that will be deleted is this in the database location pending. So the best practice is to save the keys within the particular node or you can delete using the string by adding the child keys to a string. Then we have to refresh our recycler view. So that's how I refresh the recycler recycler view, removal views, so that it reflects the deleted entity if you don't refresh it will delete but the position will still be maintained until you restart the application or go to another activity so with this simple logic we can run the project and see if our delete actually works so the keys here just make sure the keys you insert here do exist in your firebase in short they're supposed to be keys that you push to Firebase. Open and let's go to our activity where we test the delete run. Okay, so there we go. There are our two posts. Let's try to delete. 
uh, we said we're going to delete this one. Okay. So the first part of our logic works, and there is our dialog. Delete pending upload. Yes. So you see, uh, the post has been deleted. So let's go back to our Firebase console to confirm if it has been deleted there as well. So let's just reload the data. And there we go. So we only have one post remaining. The other one has been deleted.